Hey guys, welcome back to Okabode. So we have had our IKEA kitchen for about two years now, um, and we wanted to give you all the pros and cons of IKEA section cabinets. If you're not familiar, the section system is the cabinet system that IKEA uses. It's a modular system, so instead of going in and having a designer make custom cabinets for your kitchen, basically the cabinet dimensions are already determined and you just pick the ones that fit your kitchen and your needs the best. The section system has been really popular for a lot of reasons um, and it has also deterred some people for some reasons. We're going to go through those main reasons, whether they're true or not. We're just going to go through the pros and cons of our IKEA kitchen. Um, I'm going to show you guys a lot of footage because right behind me is like the one area in the kitchen where there are not any section cabinets. We do just have a couple open shelves here. But as you guys are going to see, um, we have quite a few cabinets in other locations as well. So what I did is I actually wrote out all these points in a blog post for you. I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description below. So if you guys would rather read the blog post or if I'm talking and by the end of this video um, you've forgotten some of the earlier points and you still want to go back and decide if it's worth it for you, you guys can just click the link in the description. It's going to take you right to our website okabo.com. Um, it's going to take you to that blog that talks just about these IKEA section cabinets. We would also love for you guys to join us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and you want to see what we're continuing to do with this house remodel. All right, like any good millennial, I have my notes on my phone here. I'm just going to go through them one by one. So what I have for you is I have six pros and six cons of the IKEA kitchen cabinets. Um, and you're just going to have to decide if these pros and cons are going to be true for your lifestyle or not. I hope this is a little bit helpful when you're either planning your kitchen or you're trying to decide if you want to go with IKEA or not. Starting out with the pros of IKEA section cabinets. First of all, um, number one, the IKEA section cabinets are extremely sturdy and strong. So we have real pure concrete countertops on top of our IKEA section cabinets. Um, and so far two years in they're holding up really well. Not only are they pure concrete countertops, they're two inches thick. So these suckers are heavy, okay? Um, one of the things we like about IKEA is that they really test their products. Their design is based around functionality as well as beautiful aesthetics. So it's not necessarily the same as just going for the cheapest products. Um, IKEA really does test a lot of their products, not all, but a lot of their products for wear and tear. Um, and these products are very structurally strong with our concrete countertops. I climb on them to get things from higher shelves from time to time. So far, so good. We will make sure to update you guys if, uh, if that changes, but I don't anticipate any problems there. Another huge pro of the IKEA section system is that the soft closed drawers are standard. So you don't have to pay more to have soft closed drawers. This is one of the big box stores biggest points of upselling um, where you're going to pay literally thousands of dollars more for a little piece that goes in your drawers that makes them close nicely. Um, whenever we used to go to the IKEA store, we would just play with the drawers because it was so satisfying when we had regular drawers. I can totally attest to the fact that um, now I can never go back to regular closing drawers. That soft closed drawer is really key. Um, and the nice thing is it is standard with the IKEA section cabinet system. All right, another major pro to the IKEA section system is that it's all geared towards DIY installation. If you're remodeling a really upscale kitchen, um, multi-million dollar houses, the IKEA section system probably isn't gonna be the one for you. However, if you are anything like us and you like to get your hands a little bit dirty, that's where IKEA is really gonna come in handy. So the nice thing about the DIY installation is that not only are you not gonna to have to pay a professional, but since trade jobs are in such high demand right now, homeowners are really paying more and more just to have regular work done around their house. So the more that you can do, the more that you're gonna get paid when you sell your house obviously assuming you did a decent enough job. If you guys are following us already, you know that we are remodeling our whole house. We have been remodeling our whole house, doing probably 85, 90% of the work ourselves. And by that, I mean my husband's doing most of it himself. Since he's doing a lot of the technical stuff, um, when the kitchen cabinets came, he didn't really have time to install them right away. And if you guys have ever lived without a kitchen, you know that you just want to get them in as soon as possible. So, um, when our kitchen cabinets came, I literally installed every single IKEA section cabinet by myself. I do not have extensive experience in construction or remodel, but I was able to hack it together. Um, it takes a little bit of leveling, so if you've never used a level before, you might want to get some help there. 
Long story short, if I was able to do it, you guys, I promise you, you can as well. There are a lot of good instructional videos and I think what we're gonna do is probably order one or two more cabinets just so we can show you how they get put together. So if that's a video you guys wanna see, let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel um, because there are some instructional videos but they can be a little bit confusing. So we can make sure to break it down for you step by step. So again, if you're looking to save some money, get your hands dirty and probably get the project done faster. Since these are geared towards DIY installation, you're gonna be able to do all of those things. Another good thing about the IKEA section system is that IKEA section cabinets are relatively crazy affordable. Um, if you've ever gone to a big box store, you know that you have to sit down, plan out your kitchen with someone there. They're gonna sort of tell you what cabinets that you can have in your space. Um, they're gonna try and upsell you, it's gonna be awkward. I'm guessing you're gonna be able to find some cheaper cabinets, but I can promise you they're not gonna be the same quality. Um, they're definitely not gonna look as good and they're probably not gonna fit your kitchen as well because Ikea, for the price, offers a ton of different sizing options. And we were really happy with how much our kitchen ended up costing. Um, the cabinets were not even the worst part of the remodel. I'm just gonna touch on most of these points here, so if you want me to break them down more, just head over to that blog post again that is in the description below, okabo.com. Um, but right now, I'm just trying to keep this video short and sweet for you guys, okay? All right, another great pro about Ikea cabinets is they come with an awesome warranty. Um, we're talking 10 to 25 years, depending on whatever problem might surface with the product. However, most likely you are not gonna need that warranty. I've talked to a lot of other bloggers and a lot of other consumers who have Ikea cabinets. Every single person is so over the moon about the durability of the products and um, I know that I have friends who have bathroom cabinets that are starting to break down that were installed at the same time that were not Ikea compared to their Ikea kitchen cabinets. Um, they're definitely a lot happier with the Ikea. So that great warranty, again, anywhere from 10 to 25 years, depending on the situation and the product. Um, but good luck finding that great of a warranty at some big box store because a lot of cabinets only have a one to two year warranty, if that. All right, and the last big pro I'll talk about with the IKEA kitchen cabinet is that say that something does go wrong. For example, say that you have a leak in your house that you did not know about, the previous owners did not disclose, uh, and there's a small leak in one of the closets and it starts rusting away a hinge of a certain bathroom. I don't know who that might be. We did have that happen to us and so we had to replace the hinges. Since these cabinets were some random brand, I wasn't even gonna deal with it. I didn't wanna do measurements and sizing. I just gave it over to Ian and he found a replacement hinge for that cabinet. However, had they been Ikea cabinets, we literally could have just swapped it out really quickly because it is one single hinge. It's only a few bucks. You can just run to the store and pick it up and come back. Again, the likelihood of even needing to replace any items with the IKEA cabinets is pretty low, but if something does go wrong, replacement parts are really easy with this IKEA section modular system. I would definitely say that the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to the IKEA kitchen system. However, there are some cons that I do want to warn you about now that we've had these cabinets for two years um, and we've been through the process from start to finish. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get into some of the downsides of the IKEA section system. First of all, one thing I didn't like about the IKEA cabinets is that they all have a white interior. So basically the system is built around this base cabinet and then you sort of change the sizing and sometimes you change the shape based on the space that you're dealing with. However, the base cabinet is always gonna be white. So if you want a wood kitchen or if you want a green kitchen, say you want a black kitchen, you'll never be able to tell that they're white underneath because they have um, a lot of toe kicks and a lot of gap sealers that are gonna help hide that white background. But every time you open a door, you're gonna see on the inside um, that the cabinet is not necessarily the same color. They don't offer any other colors at this point for the base cabinet, for the interior. So again, if you're designing a really high-end kitchen, this might be something that bothers you. Didn't bother us because we picked white cabinets anyway, but as you guys can see, the color is a little bit different between the cabinet front and the cabinet itself. Um, again, not something we're worried about with the white kitchen, but maybe something to consider if you want um, a different color kitchen and if you want everything to match perfectly. Another complaint I have about the IKEA section system is that the peg holes on the inside of the cabinets are always visible. So it's not like if you had your cabinets custom made, they're gonna drill holes right where you want your shelves, right? Um, the nice thing about having a lot of peg holes is you can change those shelves depending on how your dishes change and your family needs change. However, there are a ton of holes up and down the shelves. 
Um, some people, myself included, think it doesn't look quite as nice as it could. A little bit tacky. Some people do go all the way to buying the peg fillers that Ikea offers. I don't personally like the look of the fillers either. Um, so I have heard that you can fill those holes with caulk and it hides pretty well. Um, that's not necessarily something that we care enough about to go ahead and do. We have so many things to fix in this house. It's not our first concern. Um, however, just something to think about. Okay, the biggest con to IKEA section cabinet systems is the ordering, delivery, and customer service process is a nightmare. I had read about this on a lot of blogs before we ever did our kitchen. I read to keep my expectations low, and I did, but holy smokes. For such a big company, they have really, 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 really bad delivery and customer service. I break this down a little bit more in my blog. So if you want to hear a little bit more about our story specifically, again, click on that blog post. It'll take you over there. Long story short, Ikea doesn't have one delivery service. That's Ikea's. They subcontract out to smaller, smaller delivery services. Um, and those are basically no name services that you haven't heard of before. And in our experience, they're totally unreliable. We had the kitchen delivered through them and we also had our Ikea leather chairs, which are awesome. Make sure to check out that review if you haven't yet. Um, but every single time they would change up the delivery date. Sometimes they would extend it for literally weeks at a time. And um, when they did deliver, both times we ended up getting about a one hour notice where we had to rush home, get there for the delivery, and then they took off again. So our kitchen delivery got delayed by weeks. And every time I called customer service, they basically just said, sorry, you just have to wait. Uh, and it sounds like this happens a lot. So again, just prepare yourself for the fact that delivery and customer service is going to be bad. Um, depending on who you work with in the store, your experience in the store might be okay, might be not great, but um, it can be pretty crazy in Ikea, and I would set your expectations pretty low for the store as well. Speaking of professional help, when it comes to installation, it can be hard to find someone who really knows what they're doing with Ikea cabinets. I have read, we can't say this from personal experience, but I have read that you shouldn't hire a general contractor or necessarily a general handyman to install your Ikea cabinets unless they have Ikea cabinet experience under their belt and here's the reason why because the construction system for ikea cabinets being geared towards diyers is extremely different from what general contractors and most people who work um, construction are familiar with so for example my husband he cannot stand putting together ikea anything that's why i'm the person who does it because he has a process that he's used to using and when you're given these parts with a process that's so different um, I've heard horror stories of contractors kind of changing it up, doing what they think is a better idea, and then the product doesn't stand up the way it's supposed to, and then the warranty doesn't apply either. So, And chances are, if they haven't installed an IKEA section system before, they're going to have to learn this process from the start themselves, and you're going to be paying a pretty penny for that because trades are in really high demand right now. So if they're going to be learning it, you might as well learn it yourself. My other biggest complaint about the IKEA section system is that there really isn't a lot of variety when it comes to cabinet fronts. Granted, there is a lot that you can do with the fronts that they give. They tend to be pretty versatile, but I'm somebody who would really like to make a statement um, with my kitchen and painting IKEA cabinets is not really recommended. So for this house, because we're gonna sell it soon, we just went with sort of a blank white slate. Um, nothing to complain about there. However, for the next kitchen, um, I would really love to go with semi-handmade cabinet fronts. Semi-handmade cabinet fronts. Um, basically what semi-handmade does is they create cabinet fronts for Ikea kitchens specifically. So you're gonna pay a lot more for those cabinet fronts, but they're paintable. So you can pick um, what color paint you want and they have a lot of different, a lot more different styles than Ikea offers. So it's kind of a bummer that Ikea doesn't come out with more designs, but I'm sure by keeping the designs limited, they're also keeping the price down. So if you can find something that works for you, awesome. If not, check out Semi Handmade, see if they're in your budget. This video is not sponsored. We can't afford them yet ourselves. Um, but I do really like their products and they can give everything a much higher end look. All right, the last big con about an Ikea kitchen system that I'll mention is you need to consider how far your Ikea store is when ordering your cabinet system because I promise you, you're gonna make a minimum of three trips to the store, if not four or five. When we ordered our kitchen, we drove about an hour and a half, an hour 45, 
to a store in Illinois at the time that was the closest one but it does not matter how well you plan your kitchen how streamlined you make your ordering process you are going to have to make multiple trips to Ikea because I guarantee whoever stocked your order is going to have screwed it up it happens 99.9% .9 of the time you're gonna be missing something you're gonna get some of the wrong ones so you need to take it back to return it Another thing to consider is that um, IKEA does do a lot of price matching, so even if you buy your kitchen outside of the 10, 15, 20% kitchen sale, if that sale happens in I think it's three months within your purchase date, you can go back and get refunded the difference, but you do have to do it in person and you have to bring your receipt. There's another reason you could go back. Um, I think even with our perfect planning, again, we made I think it was four trips. So if you are somebody who lives four or five hours from Ikea, don't plan on just planning ahead and getting it right the first time because there are so many moving factors, you're gonna have to do multiple trips. I have a friend personally who recently just took a plane to Ikea to get a rental truck to come back for one single cabinet um, where the measurement was wrong. So, Or I think she changed her fridge or something like that. But um, definitely take that into consideration when deciding if you're going to buy an IKEA kitchen system or not. You're going to be going there multiple times and it may even be in your best interest to find something closer. Alright, I think that is everything I have for you guys. If you guys aren't already following us on Instagram, again, we would love for you to join us on Instagram. We're pretty responsive on there, so if you shoot us a DM or you leave us a comment, we can answer your questions that way. As always, you can also just leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, I do my best to get to those every few days or so. But if you guys have any questions, I would love to hear them. Again, long story short, we are extremely happy with our IKEA cabinets. I think um, even in our next, maybe slightly nicer house, we're probably gonna do the same thing again. Um, if my husband doesn't make them custom, but even then, he made our bathroom cabinets custom upstairs. And those are pretty expensive too, because it's nice wood. So you just have to take everything into consideration. And definitely let me know if you think a construction video would be helpful. I can show you how I whip together those IKEA cabinets with really clear, concise instructions. And if this was helpful at all, we would love if you guys would hit that subscribe button. Um, we're really enjoying getting to know a lot of you on YouTube and Instagram. So if you want to come along for the journey, just subscribe to our channel and we will be sure to try to put out the videos that are most applicable to you. Thanks for hanging out, guys.